Hey everyone, Tiger Tanaka here, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon HeartGold Extras. In the last part, we got our Hoenn Kanto starters, and along with the Game Boy sounds, which is still playing, by the way. And in this part, we're gonna be heading back to Mr. Pokemon's house. You're probably wondering why we're going back there? Well, you'll see after you beat Red. Like I said, Red unlocks a lot of stuff after you beat him. Well, not a lot, but some stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had to listen to that for a minute. Anyways... Once you've gotten the Kanto starters and have beaten Red, go to Mr. Pokemon's house. Hi, Anthony! I have something I want you to have and was just sent an email to Professor Oak. The thing is, a friend of mine from Hoenn came over to give this to me. And we get a blue orb. That orb has something to do with the ancient ruins located past Sea and Wood City called the Embedded Tower. But only a handful of trainers can reach there. That's where you come in. Pref Professor Oak thinks highly of you, and you are the proud champion, after all. I'm sure you can solve the mystery of the orb and the secret of the ruins. I'm sure we can, too. So now, once you get the... Well, in Soul Silver, you will get the red orb instead of the blue orb. And I'll explain the differences of all of that once we get to that point. But for right now, game froze. I'll be right back. That's one thing I'm definitely not gonna miss about this LP is Desmoom constantly crashing. Anyway, let's go fly to Sea and Wood City and go to the Embedded Tower. You will need Surf and Rock Climb in order to get to the Embedded Tower, so be aware of that. Uh, I should probably put a repel on once we get in here. Oh hey, it's Chuck! Hey, good to see you again, but I never expected to see you around here. Could it be that you are on the way to the Embedded Tower? The Embedded Tower is a huge tower piercing the sky. It's said to have something to do with the mythical Pokémon that stretched the seas and that Pokémon that widened the lands. But the tower is no longer standing. The way to the Embedded Tower is harder than you can imagine. You need to use Rock Climb as well as Surf. I see, so you've defeated all the gym leaders in Kanto as well. There's n then there's nothing to worry about. Believe in yourself and walk your path. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, really, if you've been able to beat Blue, then what you're gonna find at the Embedded Tower should be, like, no challenge to you. And Red, for that matter, since you need to do that to get to the Kanto starters. And Actually, now that we have Rock Climb, let's go ahead and see what's down here. Another surf thing. I'm not going to be covering all the areas with Rock Climb. You can explore that on your own, because... Really, it's just a pain in the ass having to find every single item. And we get a big pearl. Big whoop! Like, money's really that much of a factor anymore. Speaking of that, I really should have done something, but oh well. <laughs> oh well. I'll deal with it in a minute. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to the Embedded Tower. As soon as we can get to the bottom of this place. I hate having to go through this whole thing before having to, before even getting to the Embedded Tower. This is what I tried to do earlier, but then I realized that we needed to beat Red, too. Oh yeah, you can surf between those rocks. That always confused the fuck out of me because it doesn't look like you'd be able to. Hello, random level 10 seal. Anyway. Use rock climb to get up here. Up 
here again. Repetitive much. Anyway, now that we're here, let's talk to this guy. I think this building may have been built to enshrine Pokemon with a strong connection to the sea, the land, and the sky. Anyways, now that we have the blue orb, let's head inside. And here, we have the legendary Kyogre waiting for us. If you're playing Soul Silver and get the red orb, you will find Groudon here instead. Without further ado, let's interact with it. Kyogre, ruler of the seas. Or Groudon, ruler of land, if you're playing Soul Silver. Kyogre has the Drizzle ability, which makes it have a permanent rain in the field, while Groudon has Drought for its ability, which makes it have a permanent sun on the field. Whichever, whichever of these two Pokemon you're fighting, they're both very tough. Don't underestimate them. First things first, I'm gonna paralyze this Kyogre. Water Spout! Water Spout is basically the water equ equivalent to Eruption, and with full health, stab, rain, and Kyogre's massive amount of special attack, that's gonna do a lot of damage. I'm actually surprised I live that. Kyogre being the ruler of the seas is obviously a water type, while Groudon being the Ruler of land is a ground type. Why it doesn't get sandstorm or anything like that, or being part fire type since it has drought for its ability, I don't know. And Kyogre froze me after one ice beam. Thanks. Thanks a lot, you bloated whale. Better not freeze me again. Level-wise, these two will be exactly the same. Both Kyogre and Groudon will be level 50. That's why I didn't want to grind up too much, because then I'd be killing these things way too easily. And that killed it. I didn't want to do that. Now, like, uh... <laughs> These two were very hard to catch in the games they originated from, Ruby and Sapphire, because Kyogre had Calm Mind, and Groudon had Bulk Up, along with Rest. So not only could they set up on you, they could heal themselves, too. So yeah, imagine trying to go through that. Those are some of the hardest legendaries I've ever had to catch. Okay, it's confused now. Hopefully, if it hits itself, it won't do too much damage. Water Spout. It's almost dead, so it shouldn't do that much damage, but since... Wow, that actually did a lot less than I thought it would. I thought it would still KO me with Stab and Rain Boost at the very least. How much strength does... Enough to KO it, so I guess we'll just start chucking Ultra Balls at it. That's what I should have done, was bought more Ultra Balls with the money we got from the Elite Four and Red, but whatever. Maybe I'll get lucky. Emphasis on maybe. Kinda hoping it hits itself, that way we can get into the- yes! There we go. Okay, so I've got 9 Ultra Balls, 5 Pokeballs, and 5 Great Balls to catch this thing. Let's see if I can do it. That one gone. Please don't kill yourself. Okay. Ampharo still might not die here since Kyogre has like half its health from before. Yeah. <laughs> Until it uses Ice Beam, Ampharos isn't gonna die. It keeps shaking, but it won't get caught. 
Okay, now it snapped out of confusion, now we don't have to worry about it killing itself. Now that Amphros is down, we can just tank all the tits with Lapras. Yes, I want to use my next Pokémon. No, I want to run away like a little pussy. And... Damn it. That did 12 damage, yay. Alright, come on. I need it to get caught here. Damn you, Kyogre. Stay in the ball! I can't afford that many of them. Ah, I thought it was gonna go easy on me after I mentioned financial problems, but I guess not. Come on, Kyogre, I need to catch you in order to unlock the next extra. I can't just KO you. Aqua Ring! Great! Aqua Ring is basically a leftovers in the form of a move that only works for water type Pokemon. Well, technically it's only for water type Pokemon because only water Pokemon can learn it. It works for any type, it's just that... Yeah. <laughs> Normally only water Pokemon can learn it. Special exceptions are like Smeargle that can learn any move, or if you hack it. I have one Ultra Ball left, I think. Yeah, this is the last one, so... If this one doesn't catch it, I'm gonna have to start using Pokeballs and Great Balls. Fuck you! Doesn't help that it's healing now. Very slightly. Come on, Lapras, don't kill it. It's the weakest move I have on this thing. And I got a crit! How nice of you! Do I have anything? No, I don't. <laughs> well... Wow, I could have swore I safe saved it earlier than that. Uh, actually, let's just go ahead and switch to Lapras now, see if that changes the outcome at all. Ultra Ball go. Damn it, I thought that was it. Come on, Mr. Whale. Gotta catch you in order to do the next thing I wanted to do. Bye! I just want to catch you, Kyogre! Is that so much to ask for? Apparently! Stay in the fucking ball, Kyogre! Is that hard? Stay here... Please don't credit Lapras! One more Ultra Ball, come on. Oh great, it's back to yellow health. Now we gotta weaken it again! Really, Lapras, you just love getting crits on things right now, don't you? Damn it. Oh yeah, that's right, it has Ancient Power, I kinda forgot about that. Alright, let's try the regular Pokeballs, just for the hell of it, I guess. Since I don't have anything else. And now it's Stats Rose! Great! And it's healing itself, too. Really should've bought more Pokeballs. I really should've. Alright, let's try to Ice Beam it here. 
say that did just about enough as I wanted it to. I shard it since it has a defense now. Please don't go back to yellow. Okay. Pokeball. Damn it! Come on, Kyogre! You're annoying enough in Ruby and Sapphire. Or Sapphire. I can't believe I forgot to buy more Pokeballs. Or Ultra Balls, whatever. Come on. You know what, let's just throw this last one at it. Hey, I got a shake out of it. Okay, Great Ball, since that's all I have left. And now that has a little more HP, you can probably Ice Beam it. Oh yeah. <laughs> can definitely Ice Beam it again, even. I hate this Aqua Ring. Thankfully, Groudon doesn't have something like that. Damn it, I thought that was gonna be it. One thing I've noticed is that net balls are very helpful here. Net balls make it a lot easier to catch water and bug type Pokemon, so yeah, just imagine how well that'd work on Kyogre. Especially dive balls. Dive balls. Man. I don't think I've ever failed to catch Kyogre with a dive ball. It's almost like a master ball on this thing. Well, that was my last frickin' ball. Damn it. Okay, uh... Shit. Well, let's see what happens when I heal Ampharos. I can't knock this thing out in order to do what I want to do next. Come on, it's at like one hit point. At least shake. Come on. Oh, now if you could stay in the ball, that'd be even better. Damn it. And now it uses Zocarine. Ah. Come on. Stay in the ball already, Kyogre, jeez. Okay, I guess we'll go out to Lapras now. Hopefully it won't kill it. And its stats rose again, great. Uh, guess this makes up for Mewtwo being a pushover. Still though, this is just... Like, I expected this from the next Pokemon we're gonna go after, not Kyogre. Uh, 
God damn it. Annoying much. Seriously, why won't you stay in the goddamn Pokeballs? Man. I don't care if it's- I don't care if it gets caught in a regular Pokeball this point, I just want it caught. Like I said, thank goodness this thing doesn't have a rest. That'd be unbearable. Yes! Finally! Caught Kyogre in a regular Pokeball, go figure. A mythical Pokemon said to have swelled the seas with rain and tidal waves that battled with Groudon. I will not give it a nickname. Now this guy comes in. Well, hello, that was something you don't see every day. That Pokemon is Kyogre, a legendary Pokemon, the Hoenn myth about the shaping of the region. I see. I see. Embedded Tower was built by the people from Hoenn. The tower that binds together the sea, the land, and the sky. Kyogre was not the only Pokemon described in the Hoenn myth. This piece may still be hiding its secrets. The knowledge... The knowledgeable Pokemon professor may be able to tell you more when you show him Kyogre. Phew! There's so many connections between Pokemon and myths. See you around. So that pretty much tells us right there that we need to go back to Professor Oak's lab. So next time on Pokemon HeartGold Extras, I will meet you guys in Pallet Town and see what Professor Oak has to say about all this. See you guys then.